Hello there, people on the internet. My name is Garnasada, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So, I'm doing finals right now, and I don't really have time to work on a bigger video. So, today we're going to be doing a locker review. These lockers were submitted by the fine people in my Discord server. Thank you guys, I appreciate all of it. All your guys' lockers are actually pretty good. Even the lockers that I might rate a little bit lower in this video are really solid, so no losers here. And yes, I know, that's quite the Disney, Disney appropriate cop out, but you know, it's just true. I'm not trying to pull a, it's okay guys, you won in your heart. There's literally no winners here. I'm just grading lockers. And something to note before we jump into it, all these reviews are going to be very subjective. What I like might not be what you like. If I say I don't like your locker because it's a little bland, well, it doesn't mean you need to change it. If you like your locker, that's what matters. It doesn't matter what some stupid guy on the internet likes. So keep that in mind. Don't take any of these to heart. You know, opinions are opinions. And if you take any of them to heart, then Go read a children's storybook. I don't know. I don't know how to help you. So that being said, let's jump right into it. Also, as for usual, I had to cut some from time. Sorry about that. Ooh, this is, this is stylish as hell. Holy crap. All right, we're starting off with a banger. I love how simplistic the front is right here. There's not a lot going on, but it's just, it looks so sleek. And the inside, I can tell they're going for a very pink, more pinkish theme, pink mixed with some more monochromatic colors. It looks really nice. Though I'm gonna have to dock some points because I see some holographic sniper stickers. <sighs> no sniper respect in this household, I'm sorry. Is that a holographic e-leader? I am, shame, shame. No, but I'm, I'm joking, of course. And this is actually a really solid star, a really nice locker. We always appreciate off the hook posters, so. This one's pretty nice too. This has, this gives off very story mode vibes. It seems like they only use stickers from story mode for the most part, minus a few. We have the story mode garb down here at the end. Garb? Who says garb? That's not, what? <laughs> Who says garb? <laughs> um, story mode attire. There you go. That works. Um, and it seems to be like separated in several divisions right here from kind of like maybe like the beginning of story mode to like the end of it. And I really dig it. It's really nice. It's really well composed if you ask me. So great job. Oh, oh, ratings. I literally just did the intro and I already forgot about the ratings. All right, let's go back to the first one. Um, rating. What's a good rating system? So one out of five Minecraft slimes. Yeah, that feels thematically appropriate. All right, I give this Honestly, four Minecraft slimes were really solid start. All right, now for this one. Yeah, so really like this one. I'm gonna give it, oh crap, this is gonna be so hard. I wanna give it another four Minecraft slimes. It's just, it has a theme. If you have a theme to your locker, you're getting a good rating. I love themed lockers. They're, they, they're just so much fun. So I think, yeah, four Minecraft slimes. I, I think that's fair. Another banger. All right, this one, like I said, very biased. We're going very subjective here. This is a very like, it gives off kind of like, I don't wanna say hippie, like artsy. It's a very artsy locker, you know? It is, it's very stylistic, very minimalistic, completely like a dull palette, lots of browns, not a lot of color in here. And I would normally subtract points for that. It's Splatoon, do I need to say anything? It's a colorful game, that's kind of the whole point. But this is actually really nice. Just, I love soft brown colors. And there is a bit of color in there with like the shoes down there, a bit of a reddish brown, like some of the attire here, the clothes there, just add some, add some color to it. Also, look at that, if big run player over here, oof, they did pretty good. Um, Yeah, no, this is nice. I really like this one, but I don't think I can give it a five. I'll give it a three Minecraft slimes, but um, I could easily go to four. This one. Another sleek one. Wow. All right. These are really solid. This is another very simplistic one, but it feels almost very personal. It feels very like well composed, very proper. Like this person, it has a, just a nice sense of balance to everything. I really dig this one. Once again, it's kind of lacking the colors. I do kind of wish there was more stickers on this one, maybe in the background, but I also feel like that could kind of ruin the aesthetic they're going for here with it being very proper, prim and proper, very like well kept. Yeah, I think three Minecraft slimes. It's very, very solid. Another pretty slick outside to this locker. I think it's like, I, I might have some bias because I think the black lockers just usually look clean as hell, which is probably why I see so many of them. Either way, uh, back to this one. I do think the outside is very sleek looking and uh, the inside is very much personal once again, which I guess like, of course, they're all personal. They're, it's a personal locker. There's something about this one. Like it just feels like this person put stuff that they liked in their locker. And I respect that. There's some weapons they seem to like, some of their favorite clothes options, it seems. I also like the little bumpers down there. I like that they got, I don't know if they got all of them. I 
Are they missing? There's miss, they're missing one, right? Maybe there is only six. I can't actually remember right now. I think there is actually only six. Regardless, I like that they have a little collection there. If you have a bunch of like collection of things that are from like a group, like if you have a bunch of mugs, all different type of mugs, I think that's pretty cool. I, I just like collecting things in real life. So I, I like seeing it in game. And also they got the respawn anchor right there. And that is so expensive. So freaking, I, I give you props for the grind. That's kind of insane. Uh, overall, pretty nice locker. I think a three, three and a half Minecraft slimes is what I'll give it. It's very nice. The next one, this one is a bit on the lacking side to me. Uh, it is nice. Uh, the outside is very, it's once again kind of simplistic. It feels a little bit too simplistic though, because there's so much going on at the bottom that it makes the top feel just overly empty, but it's not the work. The inside though, once again, it's just, there's so much dead space, which is fine. You know, it, you don't need to have like freaking everything in your locker, but it just kind of feels a little lacking. I like it though. I like the mugs, especially if you have mugs in your locker, big props. I'm obsessed with coffee. Literally coffee was supposed to be a part of my original branding. So much so that you can see in my current logo, there's like coffee beans and stuff. Regardless, really neat. I, I do like it quite a bit. It's not my favorite. I want to bump it up because it has the coffee aesthetic, but I don't think the rest of it holds up well enough for that. So I'm going to give it two and a half Minecraft slimes. But mind you, that does not mean it's bad. I just have a few little nitpicks. This is a pretty tiny locker, which means they have less space to work with. So I'll give them some props with the space that they have. I think they made a pretty interesting locker. It gives off a very like punk band vibe. Like, you know, they, maybe they they do concerts and stuff like that, which kind of feel like that's self-reflected in all the like stickers and I see some band posters and such like that. It's a bit chaotic, a bit unruly, and I feel like it works really well. So it looks like they're in school, you know, there's some school equipment, some binders, books, stuff like that. And then as they get down, it shows like, you know, their hobbies and stuff like that. No, this locker works really well. I'm gonna give it three and a half Minecraft slimes. It's pretty good. Oh, I, all right, I really like this one. The outside of the locker, I don't know if it's too busy, way that things are spaced out might be, I don't know. There's something about it that's off to me, but I can't pinpoint what it is. I don't think it's bad. I actually quite like how it looks, but something about it feels maybe too congested at the bottom, but not congested enough at the top. Maybe that's weird. Regardless, we jump in here and I really love the inside of it. This gives off like a very artsy person vibe. You know, they have their coffee, their paintbrushes, some snacks, a bunch of books to reference from. Like, all this stuff feels very artsy, gives off very artsy vibes, especially with like the, the papers at the bottom and the little container of what I assume is like maybe art materials or something. And Pearl Marina posters, always bonus points for that. This is a really nice locker. It's pretty well composed and very neat. I'm gonna give it four Minecraft slimes. <laughs> I just said bonus points for Pearl and Marina and look at this one. All right, we'll start with the outside. Um, the outside, once again, the black lockers, I, you gotta love them. And the colors on the outside really bring out the depth of the background. I really like that. Then you bring it inside and this is just an off the hook themed locker and I dig it. It's so nice. The, especially the inkling, the, the pink inkling plush with the crown. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Oh, they're kissing. They're five, five Minecraft slimes just for that. The, the rest of the locker, I'm not even paying attention to. No, I am actually. This is this is really nicely, like this is so nicely done. Like look at the little stickers of the, the Inklings and Octoling at the top, the Inkling and Octoling plush together at the bottom. All their clothes are separated into different rows. This is actually a really well done locker and also a really expensive locker because those Polar Marina posters are not cheap. This one, I really like this one. This one feels almost very retro. It feels like very Splatoon 1-esque vibes. And I don't know what about it. Maybe it's just the fact that it's all super colorful and a lot of the items in here feel like they could come directly out of Splatoon 1. With all the colorful mangas and books at the top, that a splatter shot bro in a slosher, then a picture of the person, so a uniform, super shells, trash cans, some toys. It all feels very like intentional. I, I don't know, I didn't read if anyone said like they were going for a theme or not. I probably should have, but I just, I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> this locker, it's just, it's really nostalgic feeling and I never actually played Splatoon 1 or I have, but I have, I never played online. I've played the story mode, but um, it almost makes me feel nostalgic still, even then. I'm gonna give this one, I think I'm gonna give it another five Minecraft slimes. It's just, I can tell there's a theme here. And even if that theme might not be like fully intentional, it feels like there's a theme here and it feels very solid. So yeah. All right, this one is another very simplistic one. So we'll start with the outside. The outside, there's not much going on. There's like five stickers here. If I can count, I can. There's five stickers here. Really nothing going on, nothing too special, but I do kind of like it, especially with the little like inkling kid or 
mascot character right there towards the bottom. It's just for some reason it being centered there just kind of feels like this is a branded locker. Like that's this is that kid's locker right here. <laughs> and then coming into the inside, honestly that childish feel kind of carries over into here. So it looks like, you know, there's some arts and crafts at the bottom, some school supplies, some hobby stuff, and then maybe some of like some personal like favorites at the top or something along those lines. And I really like it. This is just a solid locker. I don't know if it 100% has a theme, but I think it does. And I think that is the theme. Like it's simple, but it works. Um, three and a half Minecraft slimes, maybe four. It's pretty stylish. I mean, <laughs> no, this one is really well composed. So I do really like this one. The outside is pretty nice, pretty chaotic, but in a very purposeful feeling way, just the way that everything's set up just feels very nice. As for the inside, actually kind of gives me some of the vibes of my locker, which um, I'll flash a picture up of my locker here. It's just, I like, I like how the books are, especially with the books being split up by a mug in the middle. The section under that is like some story mode stuff. Then under that, some casual stuff. Under that, maybe some game mode stuff. It just feels very purposeful and I, I really like it. For Minecraft Slimes, it's a good one. It's a good one. This is another one where it's like, it, it's weird to me. The outside is at the very least. The outside feels kind of weird to me. It feels too asymmetrical. Especially because like here at the bottom, then there's that big man picture kind of like slapped in the middle, which kind of breaks up the as like asymmetrical look of everything else, which is just a bit weird to me. Not bad, it looks fine, but like something about it. Looking onto the inside, however, yeah, I like it. Once again, it feels very simple. It's just like some magazines, some, you know, general items, maybe a little picture there in the middle, some uh, equipment at the bottom. It's nothing really special, but it's a fine enough locker. Two and a half Minecraft slimes. I'm really committing to the Minecraft slime, but I don't know, something about it's funny to me. All right, last locker. Or I think this is the last one. This one, the outside, is very much just this person's weapon sticker collection, but I dig it. It's pretty generic and Eh, the composition could be more interesting, but eh, it's pretty decent. I don't, I don't like it at all. As for the inside, it's pretty boring. I'll, like, I, I see, you know, the gold statue. I mean, it's cool. Like, I mean, congrats. Like, that's, you know, that wasn't the easiest thing to get. I know that. And I know that it takes up, like, most of the locker. So, you know, I get it. You can't do much after that. But then putting two big weapons in there. You know, it's not bad though. The gold statue, that's pretty impressive. All the hollow stickers, that's pretty impressive. So I gotta give you props for that, but it's a bit boring. Not bad, but you know, it's two and a half Minecraft slimes. But still, no, like actual props and getting all those holographic stickers in that gold statue, like that is, that's pretty impressive. All right, and that was all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun to just kind of go through people's lockers. I know this is a big filler video. Like this video does not have much substance in it. And I apologize for that, but I'm working on the Minecraft video. It's just so much footage and a good majority of it I can't even use, so that's upsetting. And on top of that, I'm also working on the designing specials video, but I'm just trying to animate some of those, so it's taking a lot longer. And also, I'm working on some TF2 videos. So for you TF2 fans, hopefully you'll be eating good soon. Got some designing videos for that, so that's gonna be a ton of fun. But, you know, school finals, it's finals week. I just do not have the time. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you next time. With you know, a higher quality video. All right, bye.